Today we're going to look at adding images for each item slate with the RAD Tree View. RAD Tree View is part of the Telerik RAD controls for Silverlight WPF Control Suite for .NET XAML development. So the RAD Tree View gives you the ability to define images for each item slate. You can set the default image for a Tree View item. You can set an image when the item is selected, and you can also set the image when the item is expanded. Let's go ahead and jump into Visual Studio 2010 and take a look at how to do this. So here we are, we're inside of Visual Studio 2010 and I'm just going to create a new project. So I'm going to go File, New Project, I'm going to select Silverlight and RAD Control Silverlight Application. I'm just going to give this a name of RAD Tree View and Images TTV for Telerik TV and select OK. We're going to host this Silverlight application in a new website. We're also going to be using Silverlight 5 for this demo. So now that that's in place, we see our project configuration wizard. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm actually going to select telerik.windows.controls.navigation, which it will automatically select the dependent component here called telerik.windows.controls. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit the finish button. So once I hit the finish button, you'll see our project finishes spinning up. And over here under references, we see telerik.windows.controls and then telerik.windows.controls.navigation. I'm going to go ahead and close that and I'm going to expand the user control, which is in our main page.xaml. So we'll notice that the Telerik XML namespace has automatically been added for us. So to jumpstart things, I'm going to start with the same tree view that we had in the last project. So I'm going to simply paste that in. And if you haven't seen this before, you can always go back and you can watch the first video, which is the getting started video with the RAD tree view control. So we have our RAD tree view. We have an item here called employees. We have a header with retail, and then we have a couple of items inside of that. So what we're going to do today is we're actually going to explore the, some of the things that we can do with images in the RAD Tree View control. So before we get started, the first thing that I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to come back over to our project. I'm going to select Add, New Folder, and I'm just going to name this Images. I'm going to need to add in some images to this project. So I'm going to right click Add, and I'm going to select Existing Folder. Now, I already have some images already on my machine, so we're just going to use these. So I'm going to select all of these, and then I'm going to hit Add. So we can see inside of our Images folder that we have a, several images. One thing that I'm going to do before I move on is I'm going to set the build action of all of these images to Content. So now that I've done that, all of these images are going to be included in our zap file. So I can go ahead and I can close out of images. So to begin, I'm going to need to set the images base directory of the rad tree view to the images folder. So I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to type in images base dir and I'll just fill in images here. Now that I've added my images base directory, I can begin adding a default image source. So I'm just going to select my employees and I'm going to type in default image source and this is actually going to be imp id onepng So while we're in here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add in a few more images. So we will select retail and I'm just going to paste these in and we're going to maybe select picture 2 here picture 3, and then picture 4. So while we're here, let's go ahead and take a look at this running inside of the browser before we go any further. So I'm going to simply run the application. And once the application loads, you'll see over here we have our image. So if we expand this out and we drill down into retail, you'll see that we have a couple of images here. 
and I just did a quick zoom in where you can see those a little bit better. But let's see what else we can do with images in the Rad Tree View control. So let's come down to Healthcare, and I'm actually just going to set two more default images here. But when we get down into Technology, we're going to mix it up just a little bit. So the first image that I'm going to set is our default image source, which is what we're used to seeing by now. So I'm just going to type in employee ID 7.png. But then we're going to add in the expanded image source. So with the expanded image source, and we'll go ahead and give that a name of ID 8. PNG. This is the image that you'll see once the item has been expanded. So I'm also going to come down here and in Technology 2, I will add in a default image source again. And this will be maybe an employee ID of 1.png. But then a selected image source, once the user has selected the item, I actually want it to display employee ID 2.png. So let's go ahead now and let's run the application and take a look at how this is working. So once we run the application and we come down to technology and we expand that, if you notice that in the first image here we had an image of this man and once we expanded it that image has been changed to the woman. Now we can look down here on technology 2 and once we select that image we can see it also changed as well from the woman to the man. So these are just a few properties that you can toggle in your application using the RAD tree view control. So I hope this video which was the second video in the series was helpful to you. Please tune in to tv.telerik.com for more videos and check out blogs.telerik.com for the latest news and announcements.